Here they take the flour. We are just entering the kitchen. My favorite snack when I was a kid. Velaki figure you long cake. Ah, okay. This is not the typical shape of a murku. <laughs> Now we are gonna go see the Ladu. So today I'm in my husband's hometown and we're gonna make Indian snacks from scratch. We're at this really cool place where they make snacks homemade. This is the heartland of the Chettinadu region. Chettinadu is a small town surrounded by about 80 villages and some towns. Chettinadu cuisine is known for bold flavors and extensive use of spices, which is known for being really wholesome, healthy, and delicious. Okay guys, come on, let's go inside. I am ready for some snacks. So actually, it's it's like, like a normal house. It reminds me actually of Ash's parents' house where we're at right now. And this is where they make all the snacks. We are just entering the kitchen area. And here is where they make all kinds of snacks. So Summer has never seen any of the snacks being made. She has only been enjoying the snacks. So snack number one, what we are making is called managolam and this is my favorite snack since when I was a kid. It's a sweet and it's crunchy. So this is how it starts. This is the flour for it and it has rice and three other ingredients which are also healthy legumes. They grind it into this powder and then it goes to the next station. So here they take the flour, they mix it with water and then they knead it and then it turns into this paste. So they load this flour into that press and then they can they press it into this pot where it's boiling hot oil so it gets fried. <laughs> Would you hire me? Well, you're figuring you're not getting Okay. <laughs> so, this is how it looks after it's been fried, and then they're actually adding jaggery syrup to it. Right now, it's about like 11 a.m., but by like 5 30 in the evening, they will add jaggery to this. Now we're coming to my favorite, which is Murku. I really, oh my god, I cannot believe that I'm actually seeing now how this is made. So the flour for Murku is made from rice and urad dal. They make it into a paste with water and then they make it into these little portions. Then again, they fill it into the press like she's doing right now. And this reminds me of like the old kitchen utensils I saw in my grandma's house when I was little. It's like really traditional. And then the best part, guys, then they put it into the boiling hot oil and fry it. It's time. I'm trying to make my first morku ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. I know I should never put the boiling oil, but I have to. Enough. <laughs> Huh? Is it okay? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh no! Don't listen, listen. That one was bad. No, 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 no. Hmm? Another one. 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 4 out of 10. Yours is a 10 out of 10. You can't get it. 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 You
Now, uh, let's be real here. I'm gonna show you the ones I did. This is the ones I did. These are the real ones. <laughs> so this is not the typical shape of a murku. <laughs> this is more like a snake snack. <laughs> but this one is pretty good. Mm. Oh my God. That's so good. I never oh. ate when it was fresh. Oh my God. Mm. <laughs> Guys, it's so yummy. No more alarg them. I made this. I am a chef. It's been probably 10 years since I had real fresh murku from the stove and it's so yummy. Now we are gonna go see the ladu. All these ladus actually were made yesterday already. Oh, these ones I love! Baby, I forgot what they're called. Which ones? This one, the round one. Oh, this one? Yeah. Adirasam. Mm. These are so yummy. And I love those because they're nice and chewy, like a little soft still. Those I don't like that much, but I think a lot of people like them. So this place has been making these snacks for 25 years. And these ladies have been here for about 10 years. Ungapere? Suba. Mutu. Jaya. Radha. 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 Ungapere? Suba. Mutu